What's up, guys? I'm James. Welcome back to my channel. This is Eastgate Contra. Whoa! This is Eastgate Concentrate. Probably the best intro ever if I would have just died right there. Uh, finally got a new selfie stick. I'm very excited. Finally get to start making reviews again. Today, we're bringing you guys the BKB V2. Wow! I put in quite a few miles. It's a good tire. I like it. It does have a couple downfalls though. Uh, we'll get into that. It's definitely not a brake type situation. This tire is a very well made tire. Are you wondering right now how I am uh, holding that wheel and my camera? Well, I'm on the one wheel. The whole vibe of the one wheel is dope you got to have a couple different uh uh arrows in your quiver if you know what i mean for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on hbo pay-per-view ladies and gentlemen bkb v2 tires what are they are they for you are they racing tires are they off-road tires what kind of tires are they so, if you check on the website, we'll go ahead and put that up right, go ahead and put that up on the screen right now. The tires are $12.99 a piece. Or, uh, yeah. yeah, the tires are $12.99 a piece, which isn't really that bad. Uh, most Sunmates usually go for anywhere from about $10 to $15. Uh, Hoda's go from $15 to about $20 a pop. Uh, if I'm correct, I might not be correct. I know a thing or two, but I don't know everything. So the BKB V2s, you guys wondering why they're called V2s? This is the second version of this tire. Uh, the first version came out, everybody loved them, but the main gripe was that they wore down way too fast. Um, a lot of people were racing with them and riding extremely aggressive. So the tread broke down real fast and the tire wore out real fast and everybody was burning through them. And so uh, they went ahead and redesigned them they made the compound harder they made the sidewall stiffer uh i'm gonna go ahead and put up a side-by-side -side shot and we will go over the differences and and how they look and everything and and kind of the compounds and stuff so if you Notice these are directional tires. They have a very aggressive tread on them. Um, and so that kind of, I don't know, if, if you run the tires backwards, you can definitely tell the difference in the grip and the way that they handle than when you have uh, them facing the right direction. Um, I even went uh, a little crazy and went and put like the front tires and rear uh, back. I put the front tires on with the tread facing backwards and then the rear tires facing forwards and then vice versa, just playing around to see, you know, what it would do if there were any benefits or downfalls or if it was gonna kill me or whatever. And I would definitely like to say run directional. <laughs> Point these tires in the direction that they are supposed to be going. See, this is personally how I like to, this is how I like to do my reviews. This is different. A lot of other people will like if to you sit down, I love you, Drew. And get a nice little backdrop. For a Some people like to do the reviews while they're riding, and then they do a little bit of sitting down. Uh, that's what I'm trying to be like. I would like to do some riding, some sitting, some talking, maybe some talking shit. Anyways, let's get back to the review. Try not to die on the way to work. Oh, shout out to Craig. Shout out, to, shout out to Greg. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Craig Taylor. He's got a YouTube channel. It's kind of a big deal. He's out of Australia. Wanted to make a quick shout out to him. He became a real good friend of mine during Eastgate Con. Uh, hooked me up with the shirt. Gave me this dope ass hat. Let's get a shot of that. You see it? If you can't see it, I'll go ahead and put a picture up. Dope hat. Gave it to me for free. I like free shit. All right, so. About these BKB V2s. God, that is a mouthful to say every single time. I think that we're just gonna go ahead and, for the, for the remainder of the view, we're just gonna go ahead and say V2s. The, the V2s. The V2s. The V-dubs? Can we call them the, the, the bubs? The V-dubs? The V-dubs? The V-dubs? Anyways, 
The V2s are specifically made in six inches. You cannot buy them in seven inches. You cannot buy them in five inches. I know a lot of people really don't make five inch tires. Hoyt does. Uh, they make a five inch pneumatic. It's very cute. Um, but these tires, these tires are not cute. These tires are badass. I bought these, uh, bought these, put these on the Endurance, and right away, as soon as I put them on the Endurance, my board looked so much meaner. It was, it, they have a very aggressive look to them. Let's tilt this motherfucker a little bit more this way. So, right off the, right off the bat, the first thing you notice is the aggressive tread pattern in these tires. They look extremely mean when you put them on the board. If your board looks lame, put these tires on it, you got a much better looking board instantly. Uh, but the, uh, the tread pattern is so aggressive that in, on very smooth surfaces, it, uh, you can almost break traction very easy. Uh, the slide out point happens easier than on a Sunmate or a Hoda. On a, or a Hoda on a very, uh, on a very slick surface, or very, not, I don't want to say slick, but a smoother surface, very smooth surface. But where these tires really shine is off-road in my opinion. The, due to the aggressive tread pattern, when you go off-road with these things, it just eats it up. There is no stopping your board. Usually whenever I go uh, into some chunky dirt or some very soft dirt uh, on my Sunmates, I can in I instantly slow down. It happens instantly. With these, it kind of happens, but the tires dig in and you keep you keep going. It's very nice. Uh, I think that if you are into off-roading, for sure, if you're doing 60% off-road and 40% street, these tires are are going to be perfect for you. Uh, even if it's 50, 50 even if you want to do all street, these tires are still going to be good. But I recommend maybe getting something with a little less aggressive tread pattern. Um, Actually, no, I don't. I think I would go ahead and recommend these tires. Four out of four would probably recommend these tires. Um, they're very, the, the compound is very hard, so they last a long time. I think I've got a couple hundred miles on mine already, and it's like the tread pattern is barely breaking down. So they definitely uh, up the ante with this on, I think, the wear of the tire. We'll see how this video turns out. Let me know if you guys like it out. Uh, if it sucks, for sure, let me know all the other bullshit like subscribe follow tell your friends all about it share it of all that stuff and oh real quick bonk had to bonk some shit um 50 millimeter wide contact patch the tread pattern is actually three millimeters deep so this has got a lot of tread a lot of tread have i talked about the tread yet guys i think that this is kind of this tire is very different than a lot of other tires due to the tread pattern uh, when you guys are looking at tires and you're looking at why you're going to need it and what you're going to need it for, you need to take into consideration the tread pattern. Uh, is there going to be a massive amount? Is there going to be minimal amount? Are you going to be riding off-road, on-road? All those things come into consideration. What I noticed actually from this uh, tread pattern of these wheels is the efficiency loss versus a Sunmate or a, or a Hoda. So usually... Uh, I, I can pull about anywhere from on my pneumatic seven inch tires that I run. I usually, uh, average about 17 to 21 watt hours per mile. These ones, my numbers were actually 20 to 25 watt hours per mile. So I was actually spending more energy, uh, on these tires than I was on, uh, my regular Sunmates that I usually ride. It, are, are these going to be better for range? No, they're probably not going to be better for range. Uh, but you kind of have to expect that because of, once again, guys, the fucking tread. It's very aggressive, but we like that. Or do we like that? I don't know. Am I making it sound like it's a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But it feels so wrong. <laughs> it's like a dirt bike tire. Basically, that's like exactly what I feel like when I'm riding those is that like whenever I hit ah, oh, see shit just like this Now of course now of course on a one wheel that ain't shit you got a lot bigger tire and everything but uh, Say you're skating down the side of the street and you're on some regular uh, Some regular old sun mates when you hit shit like that it gets a little woo it gets a little sketchy uh, you can tend to kind of go right and go left and if you don't know what you're doing You're gonna overcorrect shit whip face plant Some chick sees it, you know like, oh. guys have it, or like, You can't
Ya me dan juego Ahora es morir el vicudo Thank you, sir. Come again.